I'll forget that. Let's have some fun today. I've got 10 crazy facts about bugs that you've probably not heard of. So here we go. First, say hi to Lucas. There are 10 quintillion insects on the planet. That's 10 with 19 zeros. 19 zeros. I, I, look, I don't know who counted all of them, but wow. What if they lost count, like somewhere in between, you know, wife called or, uh, you know, somebody tried to talk to them and they lost count and they had to start all over again? What a nightmare. But that's a lot of bugs. Dragonfly nymphs live in the water and breathe via cloacal respiration. Which, this really means that they breathe out of their butt. Uh, so, if they need to get away from a predator quickly, they can take in water instead of air via their colloquial and shoot it back out to propel itself from danger. <laughs> so, dragonfly nymphs can save themselves getting away from predators via a fart. This one's kind of icky. Bed bug mating is called traumatic insemination. Instead of using the normal entry method, we are all used to the male bed bug makes his own entry hole in her abdomen. And this can even leave a scar. Fruit flies, sea worms, sea slugs, and at least one species of spider also do this. Hey. That's all I'm going to say about that. Flies taste with their feet and eat vomit. Yeah, they puke on something their piggies found tasty and then suck it up with a sponge they have for a mouth. Oh, yummy. They also hum in the key of F for you music people out there. The bombardier beetle has an explosive shart. They create an explosion of boiling hot liquid out of their butt to spray any unfortunate soul that saw the bombardier beetle as lunch. Other insects also spray acids and irritants like ants uh, and the southern walking stick and whip scorpions. Stay away from them. The horned dung beetle can pull 1,141 times its own body weight. That's like a 150-pound human lifting six double-decker buses. There is a fungus that takes control of ants. The Ophiochlordiocep fungus infects carpenter ants that live in South America. This fungus grows inside the ant slowly, taking over until one day the ant leaves the nest in search of a good place for the fungus to grow. It would make sense for it to spread into the colony, but researchers tested this and found that it didn't grow well in the nest, plus the other ants disposed of the body outside the nest. Uh, the zombified ant climbs up to bite a leaf and then dies. Frozen there in death, the fungus continues to grow, breaking through its brain with a long stalk, sporting more spores to infect more ants. And the process continues. Brains. Domestic beetles are used to eat the flesh off of bones to clean them for study or for taxidermy. It will take them about Five days to clean the skull of a bear. Yummy. An Australian moth, Araba Lugens, wears its previous heads as a hat during its caterpillar stage and is known as the Mad Hatterpillar. <laughs> The mad hatter pillar grows like all other calipitters by shedding its hard outer shell. And each time it sheds the shell, it keeps a part of it that once enclosed its head. 
With every molt, the stack of head capsules grows, eventually becoming a tall, tapering tower. It often uses its head shell hat as a defense against predators. Now that's metal. Butterflies have the prettiest wings, but they definitely have a face for radio. Look at this ugly thing. That is one ugly, ugly face. It might even be uglier than me. Stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way.